The City of Portland has partnered with several local businesses to erect a monument to Portland's fallen firefighters. Brian Knobloch talked with Deputy Fire Chief David Jackson about this tribute to Portland's bravest. Chief Jackson, what's the background for this monument? Well, certainly, uh, as you can see, there's 20 uh, names on this monument. It's the, uh, there's 20 firefighters in the Portland Fire Department's history that, that we know of and documented that lost their lives in the line of duty. The idea kind of started in 97, 98 uh, with retired Deputy Chief Larry Libby. He was a lieutenant here at the time at Central, and then he was also captain here. He kind of came up with the idea of a concept about something on the West Lawn, uh, more of a memorial than just a plaque we had in the building. And then in 2008, we really got a, we got a more formal committee going and realized certainly the first challenge was the fundraising. Uh, but the fundraising uh, has gone well in the last few years. And, uh, and as you can see, it's come to, come to fruition. To, we're glad to see it's here. And, they like said we raised uh, a little over thirty-two thousand um, dollars. There's still some money coming in, and certainly donations can still be made. Um, and there's going to be a lot of uh, cool things for Saturday, so we're looking forward to that day. The location of this monument has a lot of history with the Portland Fire Department. It does. the uh, The history of this location, certainly this location in general that the station's on now, is actually a city park. Um, but right where we're standing, where the monument is built. Uh, in the past, there's been three other fire stations right here. Um, uh, several times burned in the Great Fire, um, but they rebuilt here, and then uh, this station is now the fourth station that's been at this location. So it's really kind of fitting. A lot of the names that are on this monument uh, were men that worked in the stations that were here, and all of them at some time worked at some point in time in their careers worked here at Central Station. And it's, you did have a lot of companies, a lot of local companies that contributed to the monument. We did. Uh, we had uh, most all the, all the businesses. Uh, certainly, were all thousand dollars or more donations that were just a huge help. And uh, we we even had on the on the day of groundbreaking last fall, we had several uh, individuals here that day writing checks, personal checks to the to the fund. Um, yeah, so it's been it, the fundraising's gone well in the last few years. And what are the elements of the uh, the mo the memorial here? What what part? What are the part different parts? Um, well, we wanted to first kind of create a setting that, uh, you know, certainly anybody could come here. Uh, the, like we had talked earlier, there's two more uh, black granite benches that will be here. But a kind of a little uh, place that was uh, in the park, again, here in the West Lawn, is perfect for it to be uh, quiet, a place of reflection. Somebody could sit here and visit, um, certainly visit the memorial. Um, it, it, so we, we created this area with the brick, uh, the brick lays, the, the granite uh, flower beds, the be granite branches and certainly the uh, black marble monument with all the names on it um, and, this, and the uh, other items that are on here, plus the three flagpoles. I think it uh, says it all. The official dedication is on Saturday the 28th, and you're looking to get as many people as possible for this turnout. Is that right? That was, that's correct. Um, I know we had over 150 on the groundbreaking, um, and we are anticipating at least 350 plus, close to 400 on uh, Saturday the 28th. We've sent out over 450 invitations. We still have a few that are going out on, on those last minute people we don't want to forget. Um, and then certainly to help get the word out through the news media, I'm sure uh, we'll even have more people to come in. We're trying to also take this time to reach out to any Portland firefighter um, that's retired from the department or any family member of that firefighter who maybe has passed away to uh, get back in touch with us if they, are, if they aren't already in our database of contacts. Um, anytime we have events going on or things going on like this that uh, we have a way to reach out to them. Um, and we really uh, we're in hopes that they'll, they'll uh, have the opportunity to get back in touch with us to get into our database. There are over 200 current firefighters in the department. Uh, is there a big sense of history within the fire department reaching all the way back to 1768 when the department began? Well, certainly uh, the city of Portland is, uh, you know, it's typical uh, old eastern seaboard city as, this, uh, as uh, the United States grew. Um, so the history is, is uh, the, just the city alone is, is tremendous. And the fire department, again, as you mentioned, 1768. Um, yeah, we have a lot, a lot of history in the Poland Fire Department, and, and we've been able to maintain that. Um, our museum down on, on uh, Spring Street, a lot of departments have come, uh, firefighters from across the country, visited our museum, and they're very amazed by um, the history that what we've been able to preserve in our museum as well. So uh, this is one more big piece for that. And what are the d details, again, for the uh, dedication? Um, the, uh, we're going to, that morning, uh, the ceremony basically will be uh, obviously presenting a colors, national anthem. There'll be some speeches. Um, we'll also be doing a reading on each firefighter that uh, lost his life in the line of duty. Um, the other thing that's too in the program is we're going to be announcing a, uh, a uh, remembering uh, and preserving our past uh, by uh, bricks are going to be available 
for retired firefighters and family members to buy a memory of firefighters. These, uh, you could buy a brick and have it engraved. And then uh, part of that brick program would be bricks in front of the museum as well. And uh, the fundraising from that is going to be uh, maintaining the account to preserve all, all the memorials, mostly this memorial here. Um, and then some additional funding from that fundraising will also continue to support the museum, again, preserving the history of the Poland Fire Department.